Hello everyone, welcome to Kotavesh Chess channel and today we are doing something new and that is Chess Base Reader 2017 review. Many players ask which is the best substitute for Chess Base 15. So I think the best substitute for it is Chess Base Reader 2017 or Skid. But I don't like Skid because Skid don't has as much as big database as chess based reader has and it has good graphics also so let's start first of all go to google chrome and write chess base reader 2017 just and here you would get this website chessbase.com so you have to just click on it here also some of the review is given about it but we are going to download it so let's write here download here is download so here it is free download available here I would give a link of this in a description here comes free download just click here now it would ask me to save the setup so I think I should save the setup here only actually this occupies less space than chessbase15 and here is the playchess.com for example if you don't want to go to google chrome and then type, type playchess.com you could just download it from the chessbase official website it has already been downloaded here we have to click on next the location next and install and now it would be getting installed till the time I want to show you one thing actually I have made my new discord server I would provide the link in the description and please 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 join my discord server let's just open it now here it is coming open let's open the discord is just opening checking for update guys you could also uh, download the desktop app for discord server I have joined discord of chess base India also you could also join I also want to tell you one thing the person who like games like video games so guys this is the technical RB gamer and he has made very very good videos and you could watch it he has already 31 subscribers i motivate you to subscribe him because he he is doing a very great job he is making the videos of gameplays and subscribe the channel till the time let's go here i think there ha it is here let's click on yes yes you have to click on yes then only it would start no do not close applications i am not closing it if you are doing the setup please close it i am not closing because i am making a video uh, so let's just guys this is my discord server okay so here the bot commands announcements welcome so guys if you are joining my discord server of uh, one important thing you would not get none of these things to get all of these things you have to click on this green tick mark if you don't click it then you would not be a verified member but if you are a verified member then you could get it so let's see if it has done it's doing I also recommend you to join chess base India's chess server I have joined it and this has so many so many players Dr. Chess is also here chess club chess base India Hindi chess base India is also here now it's just installing and we are going to just take a quick review not a quick a detailed review and now if I would click on start it would start chess based reader for me now see the chess based reader 2017 I know it don't has too many features at chess based 15 but the players who right now means oh updating a version but the players who right now means uh, have started playing chess or are at beginners level so they should use chess base reader only first like 
if you are intermediate player or advanced and you want a serious chess preparation you want increase in your rating then i sh i would suggest chess base 15 but you can also get that i would show you uh, after some time first i would do a review and then i would show you more things more such websites which are which are very very good for you to learn chess and to improve yourself at chess chess base 15 is actually for a serious preparation okay so first of all see you get chess base reader database and if you just click it here you would get around so many games see all the way from magnus carlson games are here it is having 1.5 million games i think if i'm not wrong yes 1.5 million games so very much now if you click on elo wide then it would take some time but now it would what would what would it do it would get the games of magnus carlson top chess players see now i want to show you one great website which is here you get the chess.com and if you have not account please click on sign up I have an account good now we have the profile no not premium but I would be taking premium guys okay so this is all about chess uh, dot com it saves your game it analyzes your game and you have accuracy see here Botes Botes sisters I hope you have heard about them who do queen sacrifices a lot uh, you would get to just watch these videos here see attacking balance queen rook these are for very very much beginner players but if you want to get such more videos here uh, very good chess library is also there i would tell you that also chess kit for the kids who are playing chess for they this is very good you have to also go to top players then you would get games of magnus carlson who play on chess.com learn here is an analysis board see videos are also there just search like for example i want to learn the king's indian you could type it okay puzzles here and you could play also with computer and live chess with your friends and many many more so this is a very very great website i think it has done no it's doing now the vero library i'm going to show you is in leeches.org just write this and you would lead to the home page of leeches now here if you have already created an account then you could sign in otherwise you have to sign up for that you have to write leeches dot org sign up see here it is sign up coming you have to just write here and here it is sign in and you have to click on register okay so here you could do but i have to sign in here is this and password now it comes okay so this is the main dashboard of leeches here you have some puzzles and you could see live games of best players like one is grandmaster and one is an international master here you could do this you could play some games play with computer play with friend you could create a game here is a lobby also in which players are waiting to play you can play arena tournaments swiss tournaments you can learn here with puzzles study and watch here is the video library the video library has so many videos that all of the youtube videos are combined here for example if you want to write about i want to learn one thing which is i don't know like for example i don't know the relo pace so i would write in the relo pace and click enter now here we get Rulo Pace, Rulo Pace, all variations. This is very, very great. Here also you can get advanced French defense, 
view more tags tags are unlimited guys see so many many tags these tags are so many so it is also very 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 good website to improve your chess here is an analysis board you could also save your games here i think now it would have done and see here carlson magnus carlson 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 so many games of top players Kasparov also games would be there. So many. Let's just scroll down. Topalo was also there. Very good. It is a very good uh, actually database. So this was all about the first thing I want to tell you that the database. You could just double click on any of the game, and it would be getting. opened in chess base reader now it is showing the best moves also sometimes uh, right now i would be closing uh, that i would show you about how to open analyze games in detail but first of all let's go to this interface so you know that here is a database now here what is there now here is some database path now for example if you are having one more database i am having one more database in my work so i am having my games auto save and analysis also so i could actually do that also but here if you click purchase data then here is database 2020 show contents of dvd if you are having a dvd of like chess based something this is nothing like for example if i am here on basis and i click here so i would be going in books and purchase data i would be going in books and purchase data so something like that but let's go to main database 2020 here is file if you want to update program you can update it like for example right now my version is uh, updated fully because Re I have updated today only right now in front of you, so that is why it is updated. For example, if you I want to open a database, let's see. I am having mega database, so I am going to open that only. But I don't know where is it location. Maybe it is in chess files or extras. I think mega database, mega database. No. See, like for example, I have a PGN database. Now, if I if I open it, then see i get the database opened here see now i get a pgn database also if i am having it so this is very very uh, good view you can here like status bar if i want it has open the status bar if i don't want just unclick it you could have tiles symbols like that register file type small symbols details something like that okay like i want to click on detail so it has giving all but i like tile the most because i get the games also let's go to home and the most important is the board let's just click on it and i would do some some it minimize it yes board training and view home board training view file home board training view whereas hs base 15 there are many many other tabs so let's go to file first in files you could have new open print you could send your games like email it you could publish this game on internet you could give this game to fritz if you are having fritz 17 right now i am having you could print your games you could open a database or open something you could uh, make a new uh, database or new board so this is very good and here is a new option you could get position setup also and new game first of all let's see i played a game e4 e5 this is very good for saving your games this is a very very good version for free and i like it absolutely now it's giving some threats that this pawn is hanging so save it now if you want to just stop this threats you could just unclick it and it would stop it but if you want then you could do here you can do create threat as arrow also enable training okay you could do this also but if i unclick all then nothing would be coming see so now if i would be clicking 
unclicking all of them right now here you could just get status bar down here just but i would not like it it gains some space here you could have book also if you are having a good chess based book then you could add it then standard layouts board only this is very good very very big board and now if i want to get notation i would click on notation and this is great i would just minimize coordinates are available if i don't do that coordinates will not be if you see here closely if i click you get the coordinates also means the numbers always promote to queen i never do it because if my like for example my pawn is here and there is a checkmate with a rook then i would always make a rook so that is why i never just click it board sounds you can click on board sounds now the voice would be available like for example if you see here for example it's black the voice is available if you heard it i think i i heard it so this is very very good you could flip the board here is also option of flip board or you could just i think it's control f yes control f you could also press now if you want to change the color for example i want a blue board then you could have blue board but i like this brown the best now the background is not good i want to change it to this one okay so i could change it here pieces you could also changing like this one see now it has a great outline but now if you just simply do this there is not having too much of outline okay you can have a lot of pieces old one uscf and many more so i think i have explained you board training and view open cloud engines if you want to get engines from all the outside servers but it costs now explain about the home tab and the how to save how to annotate so let's begin so guys uh, here you could see now this is the interface here now i have made my game so guys for example my opponent castle this is not a my, this is not none of my games i'm just looking what is just showing let's just make a game let's go qf3 first and for example he goes something like bishop i would bring the queen he brings the rook attack and if he takes it take with the rook and for example my opponent resigned here okay so i want to just see my game now e4 e5 knight f3 knight c6 till here he is playing very good <coughs> but i want to say knight takes h5 is a blunder so here is a very bad move means a blunder so see if you saw there double question mark is added if i want to remove it again click and if i want to add then just do this and now here is one option here is black pawn and red pawn for example if i click on black pawn then what would happen i would now write that he should play h5 now you could see here i when i would just playing here here it is written that he should play h5 he should not allow me to play h5 but black should all also play h5 so that he could defend he could defend that now after knight takes h5 i want to write after this move then i would click on the red one and i would write this is a blunder because of r cross n as there is a pin on g file and now if i click enter the game goes with here so now after knight takes h5 i could read my game and i would give it an exclamatory mark this is a best move and here i would write taking advantage taking advantage of the pin and i would just get it 
Now, for example, I want to delete this. Then what should I do? I should again click on it and now it shows me what do you want to edit or write. Then I would just backspace it and it would be getting deleted but I don't want to do it. I want it as it is. And here what are the other options? Here you could give some moves like, like I want to give plus minus means white is winning plus minus. Now white is winning and if there is minus plus here you could give white is better white is slightly better game is draw and something like that here you could promote variations or delete moves and variations also you could add now for example i want to add here after h5 knight takes h5 is not good i want to actually write the best move for him now let's just see for example now he could play a move like this also now it is coming in a bracket means it is a variation now for example if i take he could take it with the f pawn and his position is not at all bad if i bring the queen also somewhere for attack this queen would be entering the game and that's not too much bad i could just take the bishop and now it he's losing no not losing because knight is defending it now many people ask how to draw arrows so guys i want to make an arrow like queen takes and knight takes do you also want to draw these arrows you also want to draw colored arrows or something like that then i want to tell you about what are the keyboard shortcuts to draw these arrows for example if i want to draw green arrow then i want to just press alt on my keyboard and play the move for example this look green arrow has been drawn and same way if i am pressing the alt button and i'm clicking somewhere then the green dots green squares are coming just like that okay now for example i want to get red arrows i want to get red arrows but first of all i want to play a move first here let's go here and now i want to get red arrows so what are the red arrows i could draw red arrows are uh, usually that they, this is not a good move for example this here somewhere only somewhere anywhere you could draw it nothing no just but you have to click shift plus alt i was sorry i don't told you shift plus alt and you could draw red arrows and if you press shift plus alt click on anywhere you could get red squares okay now for example if i open and place this i could get control alt me just i would do this something like that i'm just make arrows like this only and you could also by pressing control alt draw yel yellow squares by pressing control alt you would get yellow squares yellow arrows by pressing shift alt you could get the red squares and red arrows by pressing alt you would get green squares and green arrows now see if you clearly noticed what are these this means i have annotated my game with arrows here green arrows red arrows and yellow arrows now for example i want to delete this variation i want to delete this variation i would go to delete variation now the variation is wholly deleted this is now about chess base radio 2017 now you might be thinking very very great tool yes it is now uh, here is a training tab here it shows you the uh, the move which is played table now here it would show like e4 e5 knight f3 knight c6 score sheet now if i want to print this game i would go to file print score sheet and this score sheet would be coming out openings book we have to load a static book and if you are having it very great now let's go to home and i want to show you some more options like for example here undo i could undo the game like for example this if i want to redo then i could do this so i hope you understood this here are the uh, tools also to do this fast here you could add add a engine 
for example after rook e8 i want to find the best move sorry after h5 wait for a second after h5 i want to find the best move for black i would add kipitza actually i'm having a lot of them but if you don't have you have to just go to chrome click on stockfish 11 like for example i want to add lila chess 0 i would click ok here it is coming i would just drag here and drop it good now after h5 it is showing me the best move which is bishop e6 or king g7 here it is showing 0 0.8 to 0 0.87 so this is now it is increasing 1.12 means that i am a plus pawn if i'm 1.12 it means i'm i'm ahead one point if i'm nine it means i am i am ahead nine points means all almost a queen okay so this is all about the engine you could just pause it if you want play it and right now if you see it is showing me only two lines if i want to get it more then i click on this plus button and it gets me three lines and if i want to minimize it i would click on minus and it would now get me only two lines it's just coming see now it, it would get only two lines and i would getting this very much easily it's unloading this let's go to home now i have done this also show you this now here is a create uci engine for example i have downloaded an engine and the engine is downloaded you volume me here like for example houdini 6 i have been downloaded here i would just click on it and click on open and the engine would be added so right now i have already added it so this is very very good and there is a option also which is position setup for but first of all i would save my game just go to view and press save now for example i want to save it i want to just create a folder here you have to create a new folder and that should be my games or something what you want to give it a name now let's just click here and i want to write the name for example let's just give it no name only <laughs> who would think about it let's create give it no name and now the game has been saved so it is it is very good board home and now a uh, one option are is remaining which is new game and i also don't told you the copy game and copy position that i would just so guys for example you have to copy your game copy your position just click on any of this copy game copy position go on the next word and there is an option paste game or paste position and you could just click it and now i would show you position setup for example i want an extra rook for white here an extra queen for example I could set this position anywhere if I want to just clear the board I could clear it if it is an end game and reset the position and for example I want instead of rooks he's having queen and I want to play against my friend with this position so I could just play it and this is amazing okay uh, you could reset it clear here you have to tell the move like for example black to move white to move and here you could drag and drop the pieces and something like that only so this is very good okay so for example if i click ok this position is illegal yes proceed now i'm having two queens with me i'm going to win for example i play e4 e5 why not play g4 now i'm 18 points plus so that is why you could do like this and this is very very good here is a very good option which is customize you could customize things yourself you could add shortcuts i never just do this because there are a lot of shortcuts options are here like for example here you could press figurines now it would show like for example it is showing me d7 to d5 i could just do like that i could engines i could add folders limits table bases music if i want to add user 
design language okay something like that you could apply and click okay at this would be a very very great feature now i want to show you one thing about database and this is the last thing i want to tell you which is for example if i open a game and this comes i could just roll through this game and i could analyze their games the top players games i could also analyze and this is this is just amazing amazing this is so thanks for watching the video i want to tell you only one thing for example if you want a latest game i don't think it is having latest games of uh, in chess based reader i don't think it is having latest games so you have to go to it the week in chess.com you would get so many games i have also downloaded many many games you could just click on official site and there comes a download option you could download it this is this is just amazing so i hope you liked about chess based reader 2017 thanks for watching the video